Accessing your layered-based workflow inside of Perfect Layers is an extremely straightforward process. On the right-hand side of my screen, you'll see a layer stack. This is where I'll have access to all of my different layers. Right now, I've just opened this image up, so there's only one layer, my original New Zealand landscape photo. At the top of the layer stack, you have your layer opacity slider, which adjusts the intensity of that specific layer. You have your blending drop-down menu. And on the bottom, you have a couple of different options for adjusting, duplicating, deleting, and adding new layers. Let's start down at the bottom. On the left-hand side, there's a button that allows you to duplicate the layer that you're working on. This is really great if you want to go in and make retouching adjustments to an image but don't want to destroy your original photo. By clicking on the Duplicate Layer button, now I have my original layer on the bottom, New Zealand Landscape, and my duplicate layer, New Zealand Landscape 1. If you double click the name of a layer, you can rename it. So let's go ahead and call this retouching. Now I can go over to the left hand side of my screen. I can select a retouching tool like our perfect eraser, and I can remove something in the image that I don't necessarily like. Down below our layer stack, now you'll see a couple of other buttons have popped up. You can delete a layer if you don't like it. You can merge layers together if you want to flatten your layer stack. You can also apply a color fill layer. This is one of my favorite things that you can do inside Perfect Layers, and a lot of people don't know about it. It's a way for you to create a solid color layer to do things like create sepia-toned images, to add warmth to your highlights, or a cool overlay to your entire image. If I click on this button, which is the paint can, it'll open up a dialog box. At the top, there's a preset drop-down menu. You can choose a specific color fill preset, for instance, warming, if I know I want to warm the image up. Down below, you can adjust the color fill by changing the fill color. Right now, it's set to a really nice vibrant orange, and I think that's going to look great for this image. You can adjust the blending mode of this layer here. You can also do that later inside your layer stack, as well as the opacity of this layer. Once you're done and you click OK, on the right-hand side of your screen, now you'll see we've got a third layer. It's specifically just that orange overlay we created. Now, up above, your layer opacity can be adjusted by clicking and dragging that slider. If that orange is too much, we'll move it over to the left. Or if we really want to play up the orange, we can move that over to the right. You can also adjust the blending mode. And my favorite part about changing the blending mode here inside layers is that if I hover my mouse over that blending mode, it will show me what it's going to look like. This is such a great function because it really gives you the ability to see how your image is going to look. I like being able to use different blending modes because they can work great depending on the type of layer that you're working with. Let's go ahead and select soft light. I really like the effect that that's giving. And we'll go ahead and adjust the layer opacity one more time. A couple of other really important layer-based functions are included up in your layer drop-down menu at the top of your screen. By opening up the layer menu, you'll see that you have many of the options down from the bottom of the layer stack, like duplicating a layer, deleting it, copying it, and so on. There are also a couple of specific mask-based options, which we'll talk about in another video, as well as merging layers. Now, one of the most useful options from this drop-down menu is something called New Stamped Layer. If I want to now take this image into Perfect Effects, if I do so right now, it will only bring the layer I have chosen into effects. And right now, that's a color fill layer. What I need to do is merge these layers together, and without destroying my layered-based workflow, I can create a new combination layer. And that's what New Stamped Layer is. So if I go ahead and select that option, on the right-hand side of my screen, you'll see all of a sudden, I have my original New Zealand landscape, my retouching layer, my color fill layer, and a brand new layer at the top. This is the combination layer that we just created, and now I can bring this inside of Perfect Effects. Just like I did before, I highly suggest that you double click and rename it. So we'll go ahead and call this New Stamped Layer and hit Return. 
One of the last and extremely important changes that you can make to a layer here inside of Perfect Layers is the ability to adjust it and turn it into a smart layer. Down on the bottom right hand corner of the layer stack, there's a gear icon. By clicking this with that new stamped layer selected, I've turned this into a smart layer. If I bring this image into Perfect Effects, I'll be able to readjust the changes I made in effects later because of this smart option. You don't always have to use this. It depends on the type of photo that you're going to be working on. I have a lot of changes I want to make to this image, so creating a smart layer makes perfect sense. I'll be able to go back and forth between effects and layers, making changes depending on what I want to do with this image. If you don't want a layer to be a smart layer anymore, you can click that gear icon one more time, and it'll remove that option for you. You can also rearrange your layers. If you add a layer, and then want to move it into place, you just need to click and drag that layer above or below the layer of your choosing. Now I have the color fill layer on top of my new stamped layer. I'm doubling up the amount of orange that's being applied to this image. Now it's a little too strong, so I can adjust my layer opacity. Or if I really don't like what that just did, I can go through and I can drop that down below one more time. Playing around with your layered-based workflow here inside of Perfect Layers is extremely easy, and there are tons of different options to be able to customize the experience just for you.